All right, folks, so what we're going to do is a quick video on how to update your firmware on a BTEC DMR6X2 digital ham handheld radio. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the radio on. Now I'm going to have it turned up so you can hear the beeps. And we want to check the firmware version that's actually on the radio. I've already done this, so I know it needs to be updated, but this is how you would do that. Once your radio is turned on, let's see if I can get a good picture here, you want to select Menu and then go down to your settings. Then go to device info and select. Now here's a radio ID and a radio name. These are the defaults that came with the radio. Here's the model, the frequency range that with the for what the radio operates on. And there you go, firmware version is 1.00. As I scroll down, I'll see the hardware version is version 1. The radio data version is version 1. The last program date was June 11th, 2018. The picture version is version 1, the language version is version 1, and I'm not really sure what that is, so we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to hit back, back, and exit. Now I'm back to the main interface on the radio. In order to update your firmware, you're going to need the programming cable that shipped with your radio. Now while this programming cable looks like other programming radio or radio programming cables, it's a little bit different. There's no circuitry or chips inside of this. It's just a pass-through cable. So you have to use this particular cable. Another cable will not work. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open up the side of my radio. Let me turn this thing off. I want to open up the side of my radio and expose the microphone and earphone ports. Then I want to take my cable and I want to make sure that it is firmly seated. Make sure that it's all the way in. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to hook this USB plug up to the USB interface on my laptop. It's that simple. Okay, now we're off to the races. In order to upgrade your firmware, you're going to need the programming software and you're going to need the latest copy of the firmware. You can get this off of the Baofeng Tech website. I'll include a link below. When you go to the website, you want to go to support and then you want to go to the software section. and You'll see what you can download right here you want to download the latest version. Once you download the zip file, you're going to want to extract it to a location on your hard drive and then run the install program so that way you have the software installed on your machine. The extracted folder will contain the upgrade for your firmware. You want to run the application and then from the menu bar pick tool and then firmware update. Then you want to pick the SPI file from the extracted folder. Once you do this, select the open update file option. Then you'll get a message telling you that the file has been opened successfully or something like that. You want to run the update by clicking the right button. This has been sped up so it won't go this fast for you. Once the update has run, you'll get something that says update complete and then go ahead and click OK. Then click exit. Okay, now we're going to check the radio and make sure that the firmware upgrade worked correctly. From the main interface, I'm going to select Menu, I'm going to go down to Settings, mm -hmm. and then Device Info, and there you can see the firmware version is now 1.2. The hardware version, the radio data version, the, didn't change. The last program update date did change. You can see it's 7.12. 2018 even though it's not the 12th the picture version didn't change the language version didn't change and whatever that is didn't change either anyhow that's really it folks if you have any questions go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to answer them I want to thank everybody for watching I really appreciate it if you like this video and you want to see more content of a similar nature go ahead and click like or subscribe